Talking in the here and now. Section one, why is it important to have conversations about the here and now? Actually, a lot of the people with dementia we've met and spoken to feel that um, the here and now is important to them, that they enjoy each day for what it is and what it gives. And so they want to have good conversations with other people that are about things that matter to them right now. And it's really so important to have a chat about everyday things, even to what you had for breakfast and about your children and about the bad things even that have happened in that day, but mostly about the good things that have happened. I think it's important to chat to the staff because you can say what you feel. Um, we can give them our opinions on the way things are run and also the way we want to be treated. It all depends who you're doing small talk with. I think if people start to think the authority takes over the caring, start to use big words or don't give me chance to answer, um, uh, I think that uh, makes you stumble and makes you have to think of what you're going to say. We have filmed an example of an everyday conversation and shall we all see how it goes? Talking in the here and now, section two, everyday conversations between staff and people with dementia. Sandy is playing the part of Sal having a conversation with a staff member. As in other videos, the reenactments are based on what we saw in practice. When the film pauses, there will be questions and suggested action points. We've got lots going on later. Oh yes. Um, we've got a singer coming in. He's really good. Oh, that would be lovely. And you'll get up and sing along, won't you? Oh yes, I'll sing. Well, that'll be nice. Be lovely. <laughs> it's cold today, isn't it? I'm all right. Well, that's a, it's a really nice top. It's very pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Who is leading the conversation and how is this done? There are a lot of topic changes. Why is this? What can Sal do with the spaces the staff member leaves for her? What do you think happens next? So, um, what have you been up to recently? Not a lot, really. Um, not much? Not much. Um, Trevor said it was your birthday the other day. What did you do? Um... I can't remember. <laughs> Sal can't remember what she did for her birthday. What kind of questions does the staff member ask? Could she have asked about it in a different way? What would you do in this situation? I had my birthday recently too as well. Um, we went to a dance class. Do you want to see a picture of me trying to dance? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness, you look lovely. What a pretty oh. dress and what a lovely smile. Oh, thank you. The conversation seems to be going a bit more smoothly. What changed? I am trying to do the foxtrot. I can do the foxtrot. Can you? Yes, yeah, I'm really good at the foxtrot. I can do lots of dances. Oh, fab. Discussion points. When did the conversation work best and why? What would you do differently? Role play some ideas based on this reenactment. After the filming, Sandy talks about how it felt to play the part of Sal in the reconstruction. I know I was playing a part, but the most important thing is I liked the lady. Mm -hmm. I thought that she was caring, gentle. And I know it was playing a part, but it was, to me, it was very real because it happens in my life all the time. Where you are asked a question and often you haven't got time to answer it and sometimes you answer it so silly, mm. you know. Um, just to give an answer, you will give an answer. She changed uh, topics quite a lot in the chat. You know, she moved from one thing to another to another. Was that all right? 
topics change an awful lot in my mind. So yeah. um, sometimes you did jump from one thing to another, but my mind's like that anyway. <laughs> so um, I found sometimes it was quite difficult, but at the same time, it was interesting. Mm. It was interesting for me that uh, that I actually managed to answer, to be honest, you know, so it was okay. Yeah. It's okay. So at the start of the conversation, the character that you were playing wasn't really talking as much. Why was that? That happens a lot because the conversation comes too quickly mm. and anyone who's got um, dementia or anything else needs longer to answer the question mm. and so you say the first thing that will come like okay that's fine or I don't know because I need so much longer to answer a question even if I want to say it I can't always say what I want to say. Mm. Do you think it's difficult sometimes for staff to try and get a conversation going? I think that staff should follow me. Mm. If, I, if I go into a room and I say, oh my goodness me, I don't like my shoes today, it opens my conversation, it's not their conversation being thrown at me. But each staff should know my interest and, and what I like to talk about. Talking in the here and now. Section three, having a shared interest and focus. Everybody's got something to talk about in their life. So a lot of this is about getting to know people better and understanding what will make a good conversation. A member of staff might actually pick a particular conversation topic, particularly because the person that they're going to talk with has some expertise or some knowledge that they can share. That requires a bit of preparation and thought. In the next scene, Roy James plays the part of Fred having a conversation with a member of staff. So I've brought these plans here, these uh, house architectural plans, I think they're called. Are you still doing this? Are you still practicing at all? Well, no, I don't do it anymore. Such a skill, isn't it? I had a go. Well, we were building a conservatory, but I, I just wasn't very good at it. No, that's one thing. I can still read a plan like that. But I know what these, all these lines mean. All these? You yeah. can read that, can you? Yeah. So you can actually still follow on the plan like that when you're building? I think, yeah. So on the left here, this bit, does that show the height or the length? I never know which way around it goes. Um, well... That's uh, mm. like the height and, and elevation, you mean? Yeah. Yes, yes. I don't know. I don't think I could do it. How does having a shared focus affect the conversation? The staff member knows less than Fred about architecture plans. What impact does this have on the conversation? Yeah, well, once you do it, I couldn't do the building work. Mm but I could tell someone else to do it. So you know where you're going? Like you know where you're going when you look at the plans? You know where you're going when yeah. you look at the plans. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You have to be quite skilled, don't you, to be able to read something like that, like an architectural plan. It's so oh, yeah. impressive. Oh yeah. So what does this bit mean up here? That's an extension. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I see that now. And, and is that, so is that the other room then at the top? Yeah. Okay. You've got the stairs going up. Okay. Oh yeah. Top floor. Okay. Bottom floor. Bottom floor. Uh-huh. Top floor. Is this the, is that the entrance? That's the entrance, yeah. Okay. And the top floor is smaller, yeah. is it? Yeah. So That's just an extension. Yeah. Just an extension. Just an extension. Okay. That put on the back. It's amazing. It's so detailed, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Because if it wasn't, you know, the builders wouldn't know what to do. I suppose so. Yeah. Discussion points. How did this conversation feel to you? What ideas do you have for using a shared focus during conversation? 
Talking in the Here and Now, Section 4. The Forget-Me-Nots lead a conversation in the here and now. (laughs) The weather last week was lovely. Mm -hmm. See, I feel chilled now. Thursday Thursday was a lovely, Mm -hmm. lovely day. I was hoping Friday would have been nice, but it was a bit damp. They say April showers, but it's got... A bit well, ridiculous, hasn't it? It has now. Yeah, yeah. yeah but we just don't have seasons anymore, do we? No, We're talking no. now about snow as well. Again? Yeah. What strikes you about this conversation? What effect do you think the environment and room setup has on the interaction? Yeah, did anybody watch anything going on telly last night? No. No, me. No, no, me. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I was watching, the... Home Secretary had to resign. There was a lot of um, pressure on her, wasn't mm. there, to go? She was forced, forced yeah. out. They've put someone new in today. All already? Yeah, this morning, yeah. Oh, do we know who it is? Sajid Javid, yeah. Good luck to I think yeah, it was probably, you know, yeah. it probably happened last week, they had somebody to cover her that quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's got a big job ahead of him, though. It's, well, it's the worst yeah. job, isn't it? Mm. The worst job ever. The conversation has changed from TV to politics. Does this matter? Is anyone leading the conversation? How are people selected to talk? My (laughs) favourite programme that I did watch last night, but it wasn't on television last night, was actually, and it's the only one I really watch now, is NCIS. All right. I absolutely love it. All the good ones have left within the last six months. Tony's gone. Broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, as a child crush, she was always, yeah. oh my goodness. But NCIS, that's what I watched last night. Mm. Don't you watch it? Very rarely, actually, you watch television. Mm. Do you know what I like? It's my like secret thing. Do you ever watch One Born Every Minute? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a man who passed out on it, wasn't there? He fainted. <laughs> he couldn't take it. No, she was giving birth and he fainted. Yeah, yeah I it's used really to really funny. watch that, but my husband, oh, I don't, I don't I know, like I it. What do you think of what you just saw? What part did the staff member play? What ideas have you got for making conversations more fun and informal? Record a conversation on audio or video with the ideas you would like to try out. Did they work? We hope you've enjoyed seeing our videos and using them to have discussions and do group exercises. If you would like to see more about the detail of how the conversations went and to learn more about our research, you can download the scripts from our Getting Things Changed website by going to the videos link. You can use the scripts to help work out what could have happened differently. This film is based on research carried out as part of the Getting Things Changed research programme based at Nora Fry Centre for Disability Studies at the School for Policy Studies, University of Bristol. Val Williams was the lead researcher and Joe Webb led on dementia research. You can find out more about the project on our website, www.bristol.ac.uk forward slash SPS forward slash Getting Things Changed. Our thanks to the Forget Me Not Research Group, Sandy Reid, Harry Davis and Roy James. The other actors in the film, the Avon and Wiltshire Care Partnership. All the people who took part in the research on which this film was based. The Economic and Social Research Council. The many organisations who have helped us with the research and with shaping this film. Mola Van Films. Please contact us to give feedback at gtc.com hyphen sps at bristol.ac.uk